this out, dude. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So yes, because you know, like I said yesterday, I'm recording videos back to back. I still unfortunately have my yucky throat. So let's just jump right into today's case. Diamond Ranch Academy is America's leading therapeutic boarding school and clinical residential program, providing a first-class, structured, and supportive environment for teenagers struggling with emotional, social, educational, or behavioral issues. DRA is accredited by the Joint Commission to offer immersive therapy for troubled teens, helping them get their lives back on track and teaching them essential life skills. The highly specialized therapeutic boarding school focuses on intellectual and academic development, while students receive physical, emotional, behavioral, familial, and social support through individual and group therapy, family counseling, and recreation therapy. This is according to their website. However, this was not the case for 17-year-old Taylor Goodridge. Taylor's dad, Dean, said that she had run into some issues during her teen years, so she was sent to Diamond Ranch Academy since it's a boarding school for at-risk youth. The tuition for the school is $12,000 a month, not a semester, not a year, a month. Taylor was an active member of the Stillaquamish tribe in Washington State, where she's originally from. Taylor was an amazing child. She was always smiling and laughing, Dean said, losing her didn't just affect our family, it affected the tribe, it affected the community. She helped out in the tri tribal community, our elders program, our educational system. She was everywhere throughout the tribe and our community, he continued. He would have weekly phone calls with his daughter. However, in mid-December, the school canceled their call claiming that Taylor was too sick to take it. I got told the week before in a Zoom meeting with her counselor at Diamond Ranch Academy and a parent coordinator, he said, they said she had the stomach bug. A day before Dean and Taylor were going to get to see each other um, in a person, the school called him and said that Taylor's health was declining. This was December 20th of 2022. They made it sound like she fainted, not that they were giving her CPR and she was dying, Dean said. Then 30 minutes later, I get a phone call that she's gone. Dean is now suing the academy in federal court. The lawsuit alleges the school ignored Taylor's complaints of excruciating abdominal pain and told her to suck it up. The family is seeking unspecified damages sufficient to punish the facility, according to KSLTV.com. After an autopsy was done, it was revealed that Taylor died of sepsis. The report stated that Taylor had para peritonitis, which is an infection of abdominal tissue, which is an infection of abdomen tissue. And then that was followed by sepsis, which in turn caused her organs to fail. Peritonitis can easily be treated with antibiotics. Sometimes it can require surgery, but typically if you catch it in time, antibiotics and you're good to go. However, since the staff did nothing about her complaints, the infection spread to her heart, liver, kidney, and pancreas. When Taylor did complain, the staff told her to drink some water and take an aspirin. The Utah Department of Health and Human Services records were obtained by the attorney representing the Goodridge family, and it shows that Taylor had thrown up at least 14 times before her death. At one point, she threw up seven times within 11 hours. At one point, it's alleged that Taylor had even collapsed in her own vomit. The school staff told Dean that she was faking it and needed to suck it up. On the day that Taylor died, the staff allegedly forced her to get out of bed, take a shower, and go to the school's medical clinic, which is where the family's attorneys believe she died. The Goodridge family wants the school to be shut down for good. The school says that they will make a long-term difference. I don't think that this is what they meant. However, the school has not commented on the death of Taylor. I think this is so sad, especially because I'm sure we've all heard how horrible those, um, like, troubled teen ranches are and the, um, those programs where they take kids out into the wilderness and think they're gonna cure them of, like, their behavioral issues and whatnot. Like, this isn't the first case where a student has died in a program like this. It's so disgusting and it's so sad. And honestly, something really does need to be done. These schools all just need to be shut down. Although, since this one is a boarding school and they live in dorms and whatnot, you'd think that it would be much, much safer and that something like this just wouldn't happen. 
So that is it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this interesting, please be sure to comment down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now I am going to go and rest my voice. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.